We've been talking about this for months, how we're gonna be doing the suspension. So we decided to go with Legends. Torque Custom Cycles. See how cleaner chrome looks? Need a hand? I don't. <laughs> finally come we've been talking about this for months how we're gonna be doing the suspension so we decided to go with legends for the front um, in the back we have the screaming eagle and all suspension I know you're gonna ask why did I just go all in the front blah 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 I think that, that should be a separate video I'll tell you about that but we're gonna be doing the install today so for those of you guys who want to learn how to install legends front suspension on your road glide street glide you're gonna be learning today You like how I handle your front end? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's good. <laughs> Before we start with the install, anything we should know for anyone at home who's gonna be working on their bike, chance to install in their garage. We obviously already took the whole uh, front end apart. We don't wanna get that on videos or like whatever. You could do that on your own. It's more so to show you guys how to install. But anything they should know? No, this is pretty much the starting point of it. This is where you wanna start reading the instructions and making sure that the you know, your, your, uh, your cartridges are already set for your weight. And uh, that, that's really it, that, you know, that's where the thinking work starts. Yeah. When it's is, is there any huge difference installing, let's say, this suspension as opposed to like an Olin's or a Progressive or any brand out there? Is it pretty much the same basic stuff? Olin's has way more uh, settings than the Legends does. And uh, it's kind of the same install. Uh, Progressive has one fork cartridge for the one side, it's a, it's a mono, uh, the mono cartridge, they call it mono fork. Uh, and actually, it's just one side, the other side's just a spring, so the instructions are completely different for all that. Uh, I think Legends and, and Olings are kind of the, the closest to each other. Okay. Would it say like a it install from a one to 10, or let's say one to five? Hard, easy, middle, I think for like the average person at home. For the average person at home, it might be middle ground. For, for somebody who's, you know, had the front end apart before, I feel like it's going to be easier than mm -hmm. even rebuilding a standard fork. I think there's, there's less parts involved and less Sweet. procedure. Let's get to it. Now, we've obviously got rid of the bottoms because Harley-Davidson still puts non-chrome parts in the front of a special bike. So, obviously, we want to have nice chrome parts on it. So, we're doing the chrome bottoms. We're doing this original garage um, fork brace on it as well. Give it a nice little look. We're also getting rid of the cowbells to give it more of that little performance looking baggy type of look. Um, but I really can't wait to see how the uh, how the chrome legs are gonna look, man. We got chrome all in the engine parts and exhaust and in the front it's like Draining the oil, getting all the fork oil out of it. Now we're gonna, we're gonna put the spring back in it, turn it upside down, and uh, take the bottom bolt out, take the fork leg completely apart and pull the bushings and seals out of it. Uh, throw the, actually I don't need to do that because we're gonna put new chrome ones on. Uh, I'm gonna clean the inside of these out because there seems to be some just wear and tear debris in your fork oil. So we're gonna make sure that this is gonna be 100% clean and then we're gonna start assembling. Sweet. making sure there's no more old oil or anything that might have been sitting in the bottom. Went ahead and show you guys a huge difference between these. See how cleaner the chrome looks? Look at that. This is how the special should have came from factory. 
this. No, we don't need this. Let's do this. So, you get a bottom out spring that goes on. Slide it into your stanchion tube. Get, catch a couple of threads. We'll start with our bushings. Can't forget this, the bottom seal. Throw a little oil on there. Slides down. Bottom bolt. We get the rest of the bushings in. One. Oh, the washer there, and then your uh, then your fork seal. How about that spring right there? Yeah, that one ran away. Yep, that's how they go. Well, I was trying to put a dust seal on before. It wasn't. It's not going to go. Uh, and then this last guy here holds everybody in place. So when your uh, when your fork legs coming up and down. Your seals and your bushings don't come out. Gotcha. You open this up. And now we measure the amount of oil that the electrons wants in there. Fill it up, close it up, and reinstall. Nice. How much are we putting in there? 11 ounces. And we're using Bell Ray, right? This is, yeah, this is Bell Ray 20 weight fork oil. Is your favorite part again? You're missing the bubbles coming out of here. That's really what's important. This is just how you get air out of a front end. Don't think anything weird. Can you help? Come over here and help me then. <laughs> Boom, boom. That's how you know it works. Nice legs, bro. <laughs> All right, so now you're just gonna slide them in? Yep. What are you doing now? You just tying up the uh, triple tree on top so I could. I'm just getting place. one. Uh, I'm just going to get one screw tightened on the on the lower tree for now, just to be able to get them in place. Then I'm going to measure the height of them sitting inside of your triple trees, so that they're sitting properly. And then I'll then I'll start the process of, of torquing the triple trees down. Seems straight for my eyes, you know. What's the uh, torque spec? 18 to 22. I'm running you at 20. Right down the middle. Nice. Need a hand? I'm oh, good. I'm good. <laughs> this is weird. Need a hand? I don't. <laughs> no. Need a hand? Always. <laughs> Need a hand? <laughs> Look who showed up today. I'm here. I'm here every day. I know. Can we can we show everybody your bike or what, what, what are we doing to your bike? Um, where is it? Somewhere over here. Wow. And you got a new air cleaner? No, it's the same. Is, is it the same? same one? I don't know. If no, no, you had a different one before. Yeah. So I did the um, the HPI 62 millimeter throttle body and manifold. I had an issue with it, so we had to bring it back. How much is that throttle body? 
I, I want that. Uh, to be honest, I'd be it's somewhere in the five six hundred range, I believe. But yeah, just gotta make sure those gaskets that they come with are good because they were a little dried. We took them out; they're all cracked, so we had to put cometic gaskets in it. Um, but yeah, I upgraded the wheels. Oh, that's right. I didn't even see them on yet, dude. So these are Arla Ness's speed wheels. I don't know how I found them because I can't even find them on their website. It's nice. But uh, when I saw them online, I was like, yeah, I want something different than the Prodigy wheels. Where are, are yours sold already or no? Yeah, I sold them. Sick. So kept yeah. the same purple. And you got the Arla Ness rotors too? Yes, sir. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, I hear getting, getting, getting pretty. Prepping for Daytona, man. Got to look a little, a little better than last time. So the only thing I got left now, I got to talk to our boy Dante. I still have your seat, but it's not going in the rain because it's uh, suede. So I'm actually upgrading it. He uh, he came up with a really good idea for a new seat setup. So shout out to Lapera. I'll, I'll have that before Daytona. Um, and yeah, that's about it for now. All right, so as Mike is putting the wheel back on, um, I got some bad news. So the Fort Grace is the wrong size. This is actually for a Dyna, so they actually sent me the wrong damn part. Super pissed, because this was gonna look really nice. Now I gotta wait. I did call them though, so I gotta give a huge shout out to Original Garage Moto for their great customer service. I know they wasn't given to me. I bought everything, same with the Legends. Um, but I called them right now, I'm like, hey, listen, this is the wrong piece. I just measured it as well with another bike that has it in the garage. They looked up the order, they were able to see that they did send the wrong part out. So they're gonna expedite it and send me one. Um, they do have it in stock as well, so that's good. So within a few days, I should have the other one and we should be able to do this or finish the install. I mean, we're gonna be good with the suspension today, but uh, look at that. It's, it's, just, it's just the little things, the little things like this that make everything pop. What a difference. Well guys, that is the finished product. Thank you, sir, for putting this thing together for Absolutely. me. Absolutely. Chrome legs, the chrome lowers look great. Still feeling some type of way about the OG fork brace, but we got that figured out. Um, but I really can't wait to get this thing on the road now and just uh, see the difference between the stock suspension, which really sucks. Um, I've written a few of my buddies' bikes, which they kind of have almost the same setup. Um, when it comes to suspension and it feels great so I just I want I want to feel my bike yeah in a few weeks we're gonna be aligning uh, True track. yeah that we're gonna be aligning the whole bike um, the rear suspension and all that stuff and that really put it to the test but I'm really happy it looks great I can't wait to see how it's gonna perform uh, I want to do like a, a first initial ride review with the suspension on I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm able to do that for you today because it is raining out um, and I really want to kind of test it out so we'll wait for a, a nice sunny day to do that. Nice sunny cold day. Um, that's gonna be it. If you guys wanna see more content like this, and if you are in the local area, wanna get some work done to your bike, stop by the Torque Tuck. Who the fuck is that? It didn't work out that well. Sometimes it doesn't work. Hey, see? God damn it, it's not working. What's the numbers? <laughs> Guys, if you are in the local area and want to stop by, get some work done to your bike, whether it be an engine work, doing some nice, pretty parts like this, suspension, whatever it is, stop by the Tour Custom Cycle Shop. They'll take care of you. Either Mike will work on your bike or the other Mike, and uh, you get your uh, get your shit right. Anything for me, sir? That was a quick and easy install. It was. I can't wait to hear what you uh, what you feel about all of it. Yeah, man. Can't wait. That's gonna be it guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button as it'll notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And like always, set the force with you. Ride safe. And enjoy the ride! Yeah. I'd like to introduce you to who you'll be working with today. This is uh, Mike. 
Nice fresh, to meet you. Fresh off the casting couch. Mike and Mike. That's terrible. Can we show them your casting couch? Uh, if you can show them my bay, yes. This is my bay. I'll show them your casting couch. This is where the magic happens. There's your cover photo. You want to get your parts done here at Tour <laughs> Custom Cycle Shop? Get them done. Tour Custom Cycles I'll get Buffet. Back on the phone oh, as yeah. it connects. You ready? I heard Pino took this. Yes, sir. 71. Straight from his house. Street with toilet Stop water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 